The story of Archaea begins deep in Earth's history, long before the rise of complex animals and plants, in a world dominated by microbial life. Archaea represent one of the three primary domains of life, alongside bacteria and eukarya, and their origins trace back to some of the earliest evolutionary events on our planet. Their recognition as a distinct domain emerged in the late 20th century, when molecular biologists began comparing ribosomal RNA sequences across organisms. These comparisons revealed that what had once been classified as unusual bacteria were in fact fundamentally different at the molecular level. This insight led to the establishment of archaea as a separate domain by Carl Woese and George Fox in 1977, reshaping our understanding of the tree of life and highlighting that life's diversity runs far deeper than previously appreciated. Archaea likely diverged from the common ancestor of all life very early in Earth's history, possibly over 3.5 billion years ago, in environments that were extreme by today's standards. Early Earth lacked oxygen, its atmosphere was rich in volcanic gases, and life had to cope with high temperatures, high acidity, and intense ultraviolet radiation. Archaea are celebrated for their ability to thrive in extreme conditions, thermophilic species flourish in boiling hot springs and hydrothermal vents, acidophils endure pH levels that would denature proteins in most organisms, and halophiles live in salt concentrations that would desiccate typical cells. These extraordinary adaptations illustrate not only the resilience of archaea but also offer a window into the conditions under which early life likely evolved. At the molecular level, archaeal cells possess features that are unique, and in some ways intermediate between bacteria and eukaryotes. Their cell membranes are built from distinctive lipids that confer remarkable stability, enabling them to withstand extreme environments. The machinery they use for DNA replication, transcription, and translation shows closer similarity to eukaryotes than to bacteria, revealing a shared evolutionary heritage with the lineage that would eventually give rise to all complex life. This molecular signature suggests that the divergence between archaea and the ancestors of eukarya occurred after the split from bacteria, yet before the great diversification of complex cells. While many archaea remain uncultured and poorly understood due to challenges in replicating their native environments in the laboratory, advances in environmental genomics have vastly expanded our knowledge. Metagenomic sequencing of soils, oceans, and extreme habitats has uncovered an astonishing diversity of archaeal lineages, including groups such as the Loki archaeota and other members of the Asgard superphylum. These Asgard archaea are particularly intriguing because their genomes contain genes previously thought exclusive to eukaryotes. Their discovery has fueled hypotheses that the eukaryotic cell may have emerged from an archaeal ancestor that formed a symbiotic relationship with a bacterium, an event that ultimately led to mitochondria and the complexity of modern eukaryotic life. The evolutionary history of archaea is not merely a tale of ancient divergence, it is deeply relevant to understanding life's adaptability and the interconnectedness of all domains of life. Archaea play critical roles in global biogeochemical cycles, including the production and consumption of methane, a potent greenhouse gas, and the cycling of nitrogen and carbon in environments from ocean depths to soils. Their unique biochemical pathways inspire biotechnological applications, such as enzymes for industrial processes that require high stability under extreme conditions. The study of archaeal evolution continues to challenge and refine our models of how life originated, diversified, and adapted to an ever-changing planet. In exploring archaea, we not only uncover the roots of life on Earth but also gain perspective on where life might arise and thrive elsewhere in the universe.